Wonder Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday. It's so great to be here with you today. That is a song by Don Cat called Kind of Love. All Kind of Love. So beautiful. So we just want to arrive, right? Arrive, get into our bodies because today, right, is how to support our adrenals. How to support our adrenals. Over 400 of you asked to have a Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday on this topic, this very topic. So it's a big deal. And one of the biggest ways that we can support our adrenals is to get into our bodies. And that's why I start every episode of Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday with a song. Yeah, because it helps us get into our bodies and out of our heads, right? It helps to lower cortisol. Ah, so let's just take a deep breath into that and land right here. So great to be here with you. So please say hello. If you're joining in live, please say hello. If you're watching the replay later. Ah, oh, so great to have you here. Post where you're joining in from. It really is lovely to see where everybody is. And it's also really a blessing because we can connect with each other. That's what community is all about, is connecting with each other, like-minded, um, women who are on the same path. Some are where you want to be. Some are where you are right now. And we can all help each other take that next step towards feeling so much better. Like that's why we're here is to feel so much better. Yes. Yes. All right. So one of the things that I love about this community is that we really support each other in a vibrant way. So I want to make sure that um, you give a heart to other ladies who are showing up here as well. So just love instead of liking the other ladies posts so that we can really show each other a lot of support, because that is just a huge step in supporting our adrenals. Yes. Mm. And I want to give a big shout out to Lizette, who's on Facebook, supporting all of us. And uh, she's going to post a couple of links today because we actually have the, um, the 15 day hormone reset coming up in September. And it's going to be here before you know it. It's already August. And so we're going to post the link. We can post that right now, Lizette, if you want. Um, for to get on the wait list. So if you have never done the 15 day hormone reset before, like it is the magic for supporting your adrenals. Every single day is about adrenal support because we know that if we support our adrenals in a really profound way, then we're gonna heal. Yes, so get on that wait list. There are already over 200 ladies on the wait list. And we're gonna open registration. We may open it for you just a little bit early. So um, we wanna make sure that you get in first. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that somewhere, somewhere around mid, oh my gosh, 
somewhere around, around mid-August, like a couple of weeks. Could that be possible? <laughs> I'm scaring myself. Okay, I guess it could be. So in two to three weeks, you'll be able to absolutely actually register. So we're really looking forward to it. We're changing some things up this time. So it's going to be um, easier to keep up and easier to participate. And of course, we always have a lot of prizes. We give away prizes every single day and we're already, we already uh, know the prizes that we're gonna be giving away and they are awesome prizes, awesome prizes. So yeah, it's just like the best event for supporting your adrenals ever, ever. And we'll be sharing some stories of ladies who, who have participated in the reset and, um, and why they think it's important for you to join. So of course, you know, this Facebook group, our natural solutions for hormone balance sisterhood is absolutely the best because we're looking for ways that we can support ourselves naturally, right? Um, through food, lifestyle, nutrients. Um, those are the three big things that help support our adrenals. And so we want to make sure we have, you know, over 11,000, something like 300 women in this group. Let's all move over to the reset and do that together. It's so affordable for every single woman. So we'll tell you um, as soon as you can register, if you haven't done it yet. And of course, if you've already done it, then you're in for life. So all you need to do is just show up over there when it starts on September 23rd. Did I get that right? September 23rd? Um, I think it's September 23rd. It's that, it's, yeah. It's that Monday in September, <laughs> somewhere on that week. So check it out, mark your calendar, clear your schedule because it really takes presence. You have to be present to um, take in the information and do the work. It doesn't just happen. I wish it did. I wish it just happened and we didn't have to do anything. But that's part of the, you know, feeling of satisfaction along the way is that you actually do something and then you see the results. And I can't tell you how many ladies have, oh my gosh, seen profound results in just 15 days, profound. And then of course the challenge is to keep it going. And then we show you how you can do that. So it's pretty cool. And we have a lot of women who have kept it going and they just continue to see incredible, incredible changes and progress and love and support and all of it. So great. All right. So get on the 15 day hormone reset wait list. That's your first to do. All right. So um, I want to give you a little bit of a background about um, our adrenal glands. There are two of them. And what's really cool about our adrenals is that they sit on top of guess which organ? You can post it right here. Organs. They sit on top of two organs because we have two adrenals. I'm giving you just a second to figure it out. Adrenal. What is renal? Renal is kidney, right? So there are two kind of walnut-sized glands that sit on top of our kidneys right back here, okay? And they are, they're little, they're little, but they do a gazillion things. They make so many different hormones. They take our, 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 our you know, the mother of all of our steroid hormones, cholesterol, and makes all these different hormones from it. Cortisol, right? Our fight or flight hormone, pregnenolone, DHEA, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone. Um, yeah, what am I missing? Did I say DHEA? Yes. Um, all of those make so many different hormones. And our adrenals also um, are responsible for regulating our electrolytes, our sodium and potassium through our kidneys. Um, with a hormone called aldosterone. So our adrenals are like crazy important, but we abuse them constantly without even knowing it. And um, let's see, there was something else that I wanted to tell you about that. So our adrenals are just, you know, these incredible little powerhouses. I know what it was. It is when we are post-menopause. So once our period has stopped altogether, 
our adrenal glands pick up the slack and make the hormones that we need to feel well, to function properly, right? And so it's really important to keep them happy. And of course, as we, you know, move towards menopause, you know, so we're in our reproductive, you're maybe you know, teenage years, reproductive years, um, perimenopause, we're kind of getting on the tail end of our reproductive years and then into menopause where our period stops altogether. You know, by the time we get to menopause, we've done a really good job of exhausting our adrenal glands, of, of totally um, messing with our HPA axis, which stands for hypothalamus, which is in the brain, pituitary, which is also in the brain, um, adrenal, axis, right? So it gets really messed up because for most of us, so this group is a, is a really good example. And I can give myself as, as an example, of course, um, I started this group because I had so many symptoms of adrenal dysfunction, so many. So there is a term, you know, burned out your adrenals, um, that's not as popular anymore. Um, it still does represent the fact that the HPA axis is a little bit messed up. So, um, so you can, you know, you can refer to it that way if you want. And for the sake of going forward, we want to make sure that we use the right languaging in that, you know, I'm supporting my adrenals so that they can do their thing and function better. So what I wanna share with you is some of the things that your adrenals, your adrenal glands are responsible for because many of you, over 400 of you know that you need to support them, but I'm not sure that you know what they do. So let's, let's go over that right now. I have a list because it's long. And then I'm going to read you some symptoms um, that are associated with um, ad adrenal dysfunction or HPA axis dysfunction, and it's directly tied to adrenal function. And then you can see like how many of those you relate to. And what's really cool is that in the 15 day hormone reset, um, you actually get to do a complete hormone assessment that, that um, will give you symptoms of excess adrenal function so kind of hyperadrenal function and then low adrenal function. So you actually um, will get to see, you know, uh, what things are associated with what, and then how kind of that's happening in the same day. Like you can have low cortisol and you can have high cortisol in the same day. And gosh, like, you know, healing my adrenals was the key to me healing, totally because it, it's tied into so many things. So um, yeah, so, so these, are, these are some of the things that are associated with HPA, hypothalamus pituitary adrenal dysregulation, and then the associated metabolic imbalances um, that occur in response to long-term stress, right? So it all kind of come down, comes down to long-term stress or elevated cortisol, kind of chronically elevated cortisol. And, and just so you know, like this is like a whole course in and of itself. So I'm just gonna give you a little snippet today and I'm gonna send you away with some things that can really um, help to support your adrenals going forward. And then I'm gonna show you how you can take a bigger step and, uh, and do that really to, um, to really build yourself up in a big way. So, um, so these include things like fatigue, salt cravings, low libido, thyroid disorders, difficulty handling stress, so you kind of feel overwhelmed really easily, mild or deep depression, uh, PMS and fertility issues, of course, um, becoming lightheaded when you stand up. So when you stand up from a chair, from laying down, um, you might feel dizzy or lightheaded. That is um, an adrenal issue. Poor focus less enjoyment and happiness with life, anxiety, worsened blood sugar control, increased insulin resistance, diabetes, infertility, increased visceral fat accumulation, so be belly fat, decreased immunity, and even cancer, right? A lot of things can happen. 
And even, and this is where it gets really important because if you've done my 15 day hormone reset, you know that, um, that I talk about the hibernating bear because many of us have a sluggish thyroid, right? Very common. So if you have adrenal problems, you're going to have thyroid problems because um, there are a couple of things that happen with that. Um, your thyroid is going to slow down to the lowest common denominator, keep your body alive, right? So there are certain functions that your body has to do to keep you alive. And if you're really stressed out, um, then your thyroid is going to slow down a little bit so that all the parts, all of your body can keep up, right? So that you don't expire, basically. So your, you know, your thyroid is going to slow down to keep your heart beating, to keep sort of the basic functions of your body happening so that you can survive, my phone going off here, so I'm going to turn that off. So I hope this makes some sense, but let me give you sort of the, the uh, methodology behind that. So um, when cortisol, our stress hormone, right, that our adrenals produce is elevated, um, it has a suppressive impact on the enzyme that converts inactive thyroid hormones into active ones. So it really, um, uh, yeah. So, so you just won't convert your T4 to your T3 as effectively, but also you will take your T3 and convert it into what's called reverse T3. So this is getting a little bit technical, but I know that there are some smarties in this group. So it can take your active thyroid hormone T3 and convert it into inactive thyroid hormone reverse T3 when you're stressed out. So this conversation comes back to a bigger conversation that we have in the 15 day hormone reset, where we need to really get a handle on our cortisol, right? So stress drives insulin, uh, drives um, HPA and adrenal dysfunction. Okay. So it's stress, but stress can come from a lot of places. Stress comes from a lot of places. So I want you to think about that right now. Like this is your, this is your to do. And I'd like you to post right here in the comments. What are some known stressors for you? What are things that, you know, really put your body and your brain into overdrive on a regular basis? It could be your job. It could be some relationships. It could be things that you do that you hate, right? It's always like this big effort to do it. It could be that you just have too much on your plate all the time. It could be that you're over, um, over using your chi or your energy, right? And, and of course you are, if you have adrenal dysfunction, you're absolutely overusing your energy, but it could be through something like exercise. So, you know, if you're going to spinning class or if you're going, you know, to um, CrossFit or things that are pretty intense, but you've got so many, you know, so many of the symptoms that I mentioned, then you're overextending your energy and you're just gonna keep wiping yourself out. And that raises cortisol and adrenaline and norepinephrine and all of your excitatory neurotransmitters. So here's how it works. When cortisol, our fight or flight hormone, it's also our daytime hormone, right? That's the main, one of the main hormones that our adrenals produce. And when it's produced correctly, right? Um, when we have this nice circadian rhythm throughout the day, then all is good, right? But it's when we're constantly stressed like I was. I was constantly stressed. I was constantly running from one thing to the next. And my to-do list was always really long. I loved crossing things off, but I also loved adding things on. So I was never done. Like this is this constant doing. Can anybody relate to that constant doing? Yeah, it's a problem and it's actually a symptom that your adrenals are out of balance. Isn't that interesting? If you're constantly doing something or constantly thinking what the next thing is you have to do running from one task to another, that's an HPA axis adrenal dysfunction symptom, okay? Really, really important to know. So when cortisol is elevated chronically because of stress, so you're putting your stressors right here, right? Um, then insulin is elevated because you have to get blood sugar into the cells if you're going to run from the tiger. And today, right, so the tiger used to be a real thing. 
<laughs> used to be that we did need to run from the tiger. We did need to protect ourselves. We, you know, we had to get back to our cave or whatever it was. But we haven't had enough years between those times and these times, right? Where life moves so fast, right? Technology is so fast. It's made our lives, you know, faster than the speed of light, basically. And we just can't keep up and nor, nor should we, right? So it's something to really consider. We can't keep up and nor should we. We need to really start to slow things down, okay? And the 15-day hormone reset, you're going to learn how to do that. 15 different ways. Well, it's 14 because we actually have a review day. So 14 different ways, right? To get our bodies back in sync because when our adrenals are out of balance, we're not in sync. So I'm going to read you some of the questions, just a few that are on the complete hormone assessment. So you can start to see if the if adrenal dysfunction is, you know, your thing or causing some of your symptoms. So weight gain, especially at, around the middle, that's a biggie. Um, feeling wired, yet you're tired, right? So maybe you're really tired, but you have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. Um, sugar cravings, you need something sweet after each meal. Skin conditions, right? Thin skin, eczema, acne. Um, high blood sugar, you know, you're heading, heading towards um, insulin resistance or diabetes, right? Those are big adrenal um, markers. Here's the thing, you know, your, your adrenals regulate your metabolism. This, this is big now, so pay attention. Okay, regulate, regulate your metabolism, your immune system, and your blood pressure, right? That's huge. So when you think of how many people are on high blood pressure medication, right, we want to go back to our adrenals and heal our adrenal function. It also really is really, our adrenals are so important for digestion. If we're constantly stressed, we are not digesting, right? So when, when cortisol is constantly elevated, it is sending blood to our periphery, right? So we can run from the tiger. So it shuts down our immune system. It shuts down our digestion, right? It shuts down all those things. It shuts down uh, sex hormone metabolism so and and, and uh, the production of sex hormones so that's why you know we we can't make babies because we're constantly stressed out so like those are big things like when you take prednisone right um, which is a, a synthetic cortisol um, you are suppressing your immune system how many doctors tell you that right not too many. Um, because you've got a bigger fish to fry at the moment, but just keep in mind that cortisol, whether it's uh, cortisol you make or whether it's like exogenous, comes from the outside, it's a prescription you're taking, suppresses your immune system. Like that's crazy, not good, especially these days, right? We need a strong, vibrant immune system. Oh, crazy. So let me give you a couple more of these symptoms. So we talked about sugar cravings. We talked about high blood sugar, high blood pressure, um, irregular menstrual cycles, decreased fertility, big, right? Loss of stamina, particularly, particularly in the afternoon from two to five. You're chronically negative. Oh my gosh, I was the queen of negative thoughts. They would just circle around in my head all day long. And if they weren't there, I would look for them. Can anybody relate to that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember those days and I thought, oh, this is awful, right? I'm in this vicious cycle of negative thoughts. It's the worst place to be ever. But what's really cool about that is that, is that you know now that it's adrenal dysfunction, right? It's, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just adrenal dysfunction. Got it? Nothing wrong with you. Okay, I had to tell myself that. I'm like, sweetie, there's nothing wrong with you. You just, you're just, your adrenals are a bit burned out. Um, here's something that you might not even think of. Hemorrhoids or varicose veins. Wow, right? Adrenal issues. Um, blood sugar all over the place, adrenal issues. Um, insomnia or difficulty staying asleep between one and four in the morning because your cortisol comes up. Yes, yeah, so those are just a few things. And then allergies, 
asthma, bronchitis, chronic cough. Oh my gosh. There's so many things that are associated with adrenal dysfunction or function. So just want you to know that um, you're not alone, super common. And um, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give you some tips and answer a few questions. So um, stress comes from, I'd asked you to comment on some of your known stressors, but stress comes from other places like emotional. So emotional stress, physical stress and chemical stress, right? I mean, even just the products that you have in your home could be causing your body a lot of stress, right? Um, and even, you know, the chemicals in our food supply. So what happens is, you know, there's something uh, called total load that happens and our bodies can handle so much, right? Our liver, our, our whole, you know, digestive tract, our liver, our gallbladder, all of that, we can manage so many toxins, but then, you know, when we take in more, um, sometimes we can't anymore. And so then our body is on this, you know, complete stress roller coaster. And, uh, and then we start noticing all of, uh, all of those symptoms again. So, you know, you don't just get there, right? You, you don't just heal your adrenals and then stay there without working at it. So I, you know, every day, I do the things that I teach in the 15 day hormone reset to help us or to help me um, stay balanced and keep my adrenals happy and healthy so that I can make some sex hormones, right? So that I can have beautiful skin, think clearly all of that and be happy and in the present moment and more mindful. Yeah, Cause I spent a lot of years running from one thing to the next. And if you're in that right now, you know how bad that feels, right? feels bad. Like you're, you're not just not comfortable in your own skin. And that's how I felt. And I was so exhausted. I was just exhausted. So yeah, whew, we're going to shake that off because that those feelings aren't coming back. We're just going to let go of all that. Let go of all that. So, you know, when you think about emotional stress, that might be relationships. When you think about physical stressors, you know, that's your to-do, you're busy, you're all the things you got to get done. Maybe you work at a job that is very physical, you know, consider that. And then chemical, you know, uh, chemical stressors. And, and it can also be chemical stressors inside your body, right? Like you don't have the nutrients to make all the reactions happen in your body. That was me too, right? I didn't have enough nutrients to ever heal my adrenals. Like I was never going to heal my, my adrenals the way I was going. I needed way more nutrients. Yeah, because vitamins and minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids run everything in your body. So fats, proteins, carbs, right, that we get from our food. Yeah, crazy amazing. And if we're deficient, it's very stressful on our bodies. So I also wanted to share with you one more interesting fact about adrenals, and that is that um, prolonged elevated cortisol. So um, high stress, you know, if you're living a life of high stress or you did, and now you're suffering the result of that. Um, it also runs down the liver's ability to detoxify discarded estrogens. So if your liver's already metabolized estrogens and um, sorry, if you're, if, if, if you're, um, if you're trying to get rid of estrogens that, uh, that your body no longer needs, your liver has trouble detoxifying them if you have elevated cortisol. And these estrogens become overly abundant and they circulate back into the bloodstream in a more toxic form. So, you know, I see many of you saying, um, many of you saying I'm estrogen dominant. That doesn't mean that you have too much estrogen that just means that you have an imbalance of estrogen to progesterone. And it could be that you are not metabolizing or methylating your estrogen well, and it becomes toxic and it grows things and it causes a lot of disease. So you, there's so many topics and, and side channels that we can go on here, but just wanna make sure that you understand that elevated cortisol, which you know comes from your adrenals, chronic stress um, is gonna also really imbalance your hormones, right? your sex hormones. All right, so I just wanna check my notes here to see um, what else I wanted to share and where I might be going with this. Um, yeah, so I have, I have a lovely list of how you can support 
your adrenals. And there's a really good, there's a really good analogy. You know, you, I'm sure that you've heard of, you know, the mother who, uh, you know, the, the, the mother who lifted a car literally off her child. Um, I don't know if that's happened once or more than once, but, you know, we get, we get pretty, um, with the, with the, you know, with our adrenaline and, and norepinephrine, epinephrine, we can get pretty strong, you know, if we're in a crisis situation. And, and you know, there we've heard stories of mothers lifting cars off of babies. You know, you, you, those hormones are crazy amazing. Um, but what happens is, is that we end up lifting cars off of our babies all day long, right? We're doing these Herculean things all day long and we need to stop taking on so much we need to learn the word no as a complete sentence no as a complete sentence can i get a thumbs up or a heart on that <laughs> yeah no as a complete sentence all right so now i want to read your questions and i'm going to give you some um, tips on how to support your adrenals okay i want to make sure that i get your questions answered so samantha asks cortisol is normal during the day but high in evenings and at night so i'm considering that is her situation, what's the cause and what's a natural way to fix it. So join the 15 day hormone reset because our adrenals love routine. They love routine. So if your, if your cortisol is normal during the day, but high in the evenings and at night, what I'm guessing is that actually your cortisol is not normal in the morning, right? So, um, so you may have a pattern where your cortisol is really low in the morning. And then, you know, as the day goes on, it increases. And what we want to see with cortisol is within 30 minutes of waking. Um, so we want, so your cortisol, it has this beautiful rhythm. So, you know, here is when you wake up and then within 30 minutes, we want to see that nice cortisol spike. And then throughout the rest of the day, we wanted to see it go down, right? So that when it starts getting dark outside, you start making melatonin instead, and that's your sleep hormone, right? So your cortisol is now quieted down, and now melatonin comes up, and you can sleep well. You can fall asleep, and you can stay asleep. So the deal with cortisol is that you want it high in the morning, and then you want it to slowly go down during the rest of the day, okay? So if your cortisol is high at night, you have a reversed cortisol pattern, it's reversed, which is very common, right? And it's a little bit hard to break because you're kind of wired at night. So you have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. So what I would say to that, Samantha, is you want to start getting really good about switching things around, right? Set your bedtime, set your, um, set your wake up time, start being uh, more mindful about cortisol. And there are a lot of things that you'll need to do to really bring your cortisol up in the morning. Um, and one of them is to get sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning, and that'll help to raise cortisol. So in the 15 day hormone reset, I actually share what those things are that get your cortisol started first thing in the morning. It's kind of a long list, but what I would say uh, the very first thing is to get sunlight in your eyes because it's light that actually governs a lot of our circadian rhythm, kind of, kind of all of it actually. So uh, light, food, but light's really important. That's our circadian rhythm. And there's a, uh, there's kind of a nice quote by, um, by T.S. Wiley um, that says, the environment through light, food, and stress flips the switches on genes to produce hormones, which in turn flip other genes for growth, death, or repair on and off. So light, very, very important. And um, so that's another tip for you is that, you know, turn lights off. You know, um, we can have a daytime 24 seven in our homes with our light. So you have to start getting in sync with the light and dark cycles of the day. And that will help to reset your cortisol. All right, big kisses for Samantha. Mm, thank you, beauty, for that great question. Um, let's see. Yeah, so all the symptoms that you listed, Samantha, fatigue, mood issues, falling asleep, right? Those are all cortisol related, all adrenally related. Um, Gloria says, years ago, I went to an acupuncturist who said people with fibromyalgia usually have some problems with functioning of their adrenal glands. Yeah, ab absolutely. So um, 
I totally agree with this because fibromyalgia, um, you know, it, it's a it's it's a cellular energy issue, right? Fibromyalgia is a cellular energy issue. Um, it's a metabolic issue. You know, your your uh, mitochondria are not functioning properly. So, absolutely, and and it's it's going to be cumulative, right? So that over years, over, you know, days, weeks, months, years, that's when we start developing things like fibromyalgia. But the really cool thing is, is that I've had a lot of success completely turning that around for my clients. A lot of success. It's not a, a state that you have to be in forever. Absolutely not. You also don't have to take any drugs for it because they don't happen to be that effective anyway, and they cause other problems. And I just want you to know that there absolutely is hope for you. Absolutely. And in fact, in fact, I even think just some of the ladies who did the 15 day hormone reset, a lot of their symptoms went away. So I really encourage you to join that if you haven't done it yet. Um, you have to play full out, right? This is not, it's not a program for, for those of us who don't want to take charge of our health. It's for those who want to become the CEO of our own health. So if that's you, beautiful woman, then definitely get on the wait list for the program because you deserve to feel well. You deserve to feel well. Let's kick that fibromyalgia to the curb. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, yeah, it's an awful state to be in. So let's, let's really get you supported. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Gloria, for that great question. Great question. Big kisses for you. Mwah. All right. Beautiful. Brittany. Hi, I need energy from noon to five, but I'm always flatlining. Yeah. So you have um, an inverse cortisol pattern, right? So you, you have um, probably from noon to five, I'm not sure what's happening. I mean, you and I know each other a little bit. I think we're talking later today. So we'll, we'll work on this. It's a process, right? It's a process, especially, you know, if you were like uh, I was, right? I was so so burned out, it took me years to heal. And, uh, and I'm trying to shorten, shorten that, way shorten it for you. So what I'd like to say now is that, um, you know, one of the best ways that you can support your adrenals, if you're not working with me privately, is to join um, the Natural Hormone Solution Program. So um, if that is something that you've thought about, but you haven't joined, definitely consider it. Uh, Lizette will post the link here because it gives you uh, really wonderful nutrients that are going to help you. And then it gives you a great support community and some wonderful trainings on how to really support your adrenals. Everything in that program is about supporting your adrenals. So um, definitely take a look at it. Consider joining now um, so that you can just get a jump start on this. Like it just makes perfect sense, right? Um, and definitely join the 15 day hormone reset because that's like, that's like a boot camp for adrenal support. So Brittany, we're gonna get you all taken care of. Yeah. And, and you know, you have to sleep. You have to get really good sleep. And here's something that that um, that happens. We actually, throughout the day, we accumulate a little chemical called adenosine. And it builds up in our brain throughout the day and makes us sleepy in the afternoon. Completely normal, completely natural. And we all try to fight it. You know, that's when we reach for a soda or another cup of coffee or something to fight it because caffeine actually knocks those little adenosine out. So it just, it just takes them right out. So that's what keeps you from sleeping at night. Um, and so the, you know, the world's populations who live the longest and the healthiest actually um, take a nap in the afternoon. So I know many of us feel like we can't do that, right? Life is too busy. Um, but if you could, that would be a great way to start resetting your adrenals. All right, big kisses for Brittany. Mwah. So Kimberly um, has a question. So she, yeah, Kimberly is a friggin' rock star here. She's been doing really amazing with her health and she's starting a women's circle and doing all sorts of cool things. She made so much progress. Um, let's see, and she's in the NHS program, absolutely rocking it. So her questions pertain to cortisol levels and she posted her, she did some cortisol testing for herself and she posted her um, graphs here. Yeah, so, so what it looks like, oh, I see January and July of this year. So I don't know which is which, oh, I see. Yeah, um, oh, oh dear, you went the other way. 
Because <laughs> January, you were you were cut, you're you're pretty low normal. Um, I don't really like this graph actually. I'm not sure what test you use, but it doesn't show your spike, and that's a really important thing to show on an adrenal panel. So um, I encourage you to actually do a different test. Um, we can talk about what that is, but this isn't a great one because we don't get to see your spike at all. All we get to see is you know when you start high and then go low. So um, so yeah, it's really all the things in the 15 day hormone reset. I would say that you know we don't go from here to there. Uh, fast, you know, it's, it's going to be at least a year process. And, you know, when you really up your nutrients and do therapeutic doses of things um, that like I do in my heal your hormones program, you can feel better a lot faster. Um, because some of us have busy lives, you know, and there's only so much that we can adjust. Um, and all I can say, uh, you know, Kimberly, is that, you know, you're really going to have to take a look. I know you're really busy. You've got a very vibrant practice. Sounds like you're taking on more stuff. And I would just encourage you to take a look at what you can say no to so that you can get more rest so that you can, you know, bring those levels up in the morning because this June, this June number is lower than January. And one of the things that happens, and this is really important to know, is that when we start to feel better, you will use up all that energy. So um, it's interesting over the years, you know, when I first started my practice, my clients, you know, would be working with me for a little bit and then come in and I say, so how you doing? And they're like, well, I'm still really tired. I'm like, how can that be? Like you've changed your eating, you're taking some really good nutrients. I said, tell me about your day. So, you know, when they first came to see me, they were exhausted. They couldn't do anything, right? They were just sleeping all the time. And then after they were, you know, making all these changes and, and, and taking some really good nutrients, all of a sudden they were doing a lot. Well, I do this in the morning and then I go do this and then I do this and then I do this and then I do this and then I'm just exhausted. And I said, oh, well, I said, congratulations, right? Congratulations, look at you go, right? You, were, you weren't able to do anything before and now you're doing a gazillion things. And that's how we roll, right? High five. <laughs> yes, because we have the energy now, so we're gonna use it all up. So what I want you to be careful of is when you start to feel better that you don't just add more and more and more in. Okay. And that's what I would say to you, Kimberly, because I bet that that's what you're doing. You're like, yes, I've got all this energy. Let's do more. I can see more patients. I can, you know, add in this women's circle. I can, you know, do this, 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 and this. Slow down. Ask for help. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And just, you know, remember that these, these tests are just one point in time. That's not how you are all the time. It's just one day out of many. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt and make sure that, you know, you're, you're really more taking a look at, you know, your daily schedule and making sure that you have days where you have nothing, where you're not on technology at all, right? So important. All right, big kiss for Kimberly. Mwah. Love you, sister. Belinda says, is there one type, one formula to improve our adrenals or are there different formulas to utilize based on our body chemistry? So I'm assuming you're talking about nutrients and supplements and it really is, really needs to be um, specific for you. That's why I like the Natural Hormone Solution Program because it has adrenal support, but it also has mitochondrial support. It has digestive support, like it has everything in it that can, that can help your adrenals function better. Um, and then if you're in my private program, then we do testing and, you know, a really powerful intakes so that I can really understand more what's going on. There might be an opportunity for you to join that program in um, early October. Yeah, at the end of the reset. So yeah, all right, big kisses for you, Belinda. Mwah. Lisa, beautiful Lisa. Can you please cover a comprehensive plan to support your adrenals? Um, what goals we are shooting for and how to know when to reduce or eliminate the supplement support. Never. <laughs> you can never reduce the supplement support because, um, you know, you want to feel well. You know, I always say you can always try without your nutrients and see how you feel. But, um, you know, unless we live 
a very slow, peaceful existence, have just an abundance of totally chemical free food. And, you know, it's like the desert island with the cabana boy and, you know, just daily massages and beautiful walks and no stressors whatsoever, you're probably always going to need your nutrients. And for many of us in this group who suffer from symptoms of hormone imbalance, it's because we are not good converters of our, of our food into the nutrients that we need to function properly. For instance, um, one I can think of is beta carotenes. So there are a lot of beta carotenes in our food, right? Look at carrots, right? really high in beta carotenes, but we need to convert those to vitamin A in order for a lot of processes in our bodies to work. I don't convert my beta carotenes to vitamin A very well, so I need vitamin A. Same with vitamin D2, right, that we get from the sun through our skin, right? Um, I'm not a very converter of D2 to D3, which is the active form. Same thing with folic acid and folate, right? So, so um, I encourage you to think long-term, you know, you need nutrients forever, but you can always go off them and see what you notice, right? Um, we've had many women over the years go off their NHS supplements and then come rejoin us later because it's, you get off track so fast. And I've experimented over the years myself. It's like, oh, I'm just going to stop taking my nutrients for a bit and see what happens. And I'm like, dang, right? Um, and then it takes a little bit to get back. So don't make that, you know, at least yet, you're very new to all of this. So stick with it for a while because you really need it. Um, and then the comprehensive plan is everything that you're learning in the NHS program and also that you learn in the 15-day hormone reset program. And if you need to step it up or feel like you really want more or need more, um, you know, then we need to figure out what your root causes are, right? Like what is driving chronic stress in your body? It could be that you have, you know, heavy metal toxicity or glyphosate toxicity, which is becoming the big thing now because glyphosate is everywhere and it really messes up the chemistry in our body. So um, yeah, so you could consider joining the Heal Your Hormones program at some point, but you're doing a really, really good job, Lisa. So good. Sending you big, big kisses. Mwah. And uh, let's see, Edita says, can hyperthyroidism be caused by adrenals? Hyperthyroidism is caused by chronic stress, big stressors. So it's not caused by your adrenals, but it's caused by the stress in your life, either from emotional, physical, or chemical, right? And your adrenals are just the things that keep you going through all that. But um, hyperthyroidism is some pretty heavy stress going on. So you've got to take a look at what that is and really, really um, be serious about switching that out because um, hyperthyroidism is, is really hard on the body, right? really hard on the body and it's pretty extreme, right? So you definitely want to get a handle on that. Heal your gut, right? So if it's, if it's graves, it's a, it's a gut issue. So you want to heal your digestion. Yeah, and you know, chronically high cortisol can totally wreck digestion, totally. All right, Adita, great, great question. Sending you so much love, sister. Mwah. All right, I think that I answered all the questions, so I'm gonna give you a few more how-tos, okay? Here's the list. Number one, start thinking more with your heart. Start thinking more with your heart. Oh, doesn't that feel good to say in it? Yes. Be more mindful, be in the present moment in a place of love, enjoying every single moment of every single day. And of course, sharing gratitudes. Oh my gosh, just sharing gratitudes every day will completely decrease cortisol and support your adrenals. Just say no. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no, right? Just say no. And that's a complete sentence. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to, you know, feel guilty or bad or anything. It's just a no or it's a not right now. Okay. Add in some awesome nutrients and community during the NHS program. That's incredible. Right. Um, routine, get into a routine. Our, our, our adrenals, our bodies love routine. So be consistent, right? Your morning routine, your evening routine, your, um, your eating routine, right? Your movement routine, all of it. Um, 
this is a really important concept. So I want you to evaluate everything that you do every day from a nervous system perspective. Am I, am I pushing my fight or flight nervous system or am I supporting my rest and digest nervous system? Am I in a calm, thoughtful place? Am I stressed out, right? And how can I add more things into my life that put me in the calm, mindful place more of the time? Meditation, a long walk, right? There are all sorts of, or all sorts of things. And the biggies are what you're eating, when you're eating, the nutrients that you're taking or not taking, right? And the quality of sleep that you're getting. Like those three are the biggies. Yeah. All right. So now we've learned some basics about how to support our adrenals. All right, everyone. Gosh, it's been wonderful being here with you today. I just love our time together. And please love up on some of the other ladies who join in today and sending you so much love. So, so, so much love. And get on that reset wait list for sure. Okay, get on the 15 day hormone reset wait list because it's an incredible journey. It's an incredible sisterhood and I can't wait to support you there too. All right, sending you so much love. Bye for now.